morning, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to thank for invitation. Especially, I would like to thank the Professor Janusz Szilagy and our supervisor, Katarzyna Zombory. Uh, the title of uh, my presentation is Selected Legal Issues Related to the uh, Protection of Critical Infrastructure. The main assumption of my presentation consists of uh, security, terrorism, Polish national uh, security strategy 2000. Uh, 1990-2020, European Union security strategy and European regulation for the protection of critical infrastructure and of course the end of the conclusions. Security is a fundamental element of the functioning of the state and the existence of the citizens living in it. The civilization development of the recent uh, decades and in particular scientific and technological progress has, me has meant that in theory citizens should feel much safer, but on the other hand uh, the development of the modern technologies, especially in the field of information technology, in the so-called digital space can at very least cause citizens uh, to be concerned about excessive interference in their private uh, lives. A paradigm shift in security uh, thinking can be observed in recent years given uh, the considerable uh, social unrest and armed conflicts uh, between Europe and on the other uh, stage. The etymology of uh, the term security is derived from the Latin sine cura. Uh, according to the dictionary definition, security is considered to the so-called state of not being uh, threatened. According to the dictionary of uh, national security terms, security is a state of affairs that provides a sense of certainty and guarantees for its preservation and a chance for improvement. One of the basic human needs is a situation characterized by absence of risk, the loss of something that a person particularly values, for example, health, work, respect, feeling and material goods. Maslow included the need for security among the second most important group of needs just after basic psychological needs. The figure below uh, presents Maslow's pyramid of needs. According to this author, if no needs is satisfied uh, so that only psychological needs dominate in the organism, all other needs simply case to exist or are uh, related uh, to the background. Only after the basic needs have been satisfied, for example, psychological needs uh, and safety needs uh, do other important uh, needs appear. There are a few approaches to the term of uh, security. We know uh, three main uh, approaches means ontological review uh, related to the nature of security where the basis element is so-called being and subjectively epistemological approach which uh, attempts to indicate the ways in which the scientific concept of security can be known in uh, its two dimensions, a realist and idealist view. And the last subject matter approach to the meaning to the term security, which should be sought in various uh, science, including but not limited to security of uh, defense science. The concept of uh, security has an interdisciplinary and transnational dimension. Among the most important categories of the notion of security, it includes, uh, for example, global security, uh, concerned with ensuring the security of all humanity, which involves the major economic and military powers in this regard, national security, 
uh, aimed at being able to ensure the survival of the state, including inter alia, ensuring the freedom to pursue national interest, military security, ensuring, ensuring uh, the ability to defend a given area, economic security, ensuring the high efficiency in the development and functioning of the national economic system, political security consists of activities undertaken uh, as part of the so-called political dialogue conducted between countries aimed at uh, stability of a country's security situation. And for example, internal security understood as uh, a state that is achieved as a result of uh, the actions of state bodies which uh, are aimed at uh, creating the most uh, favorable international environment for a particular countries as well as strengthening the international uh, positions and Im image uh, of uh, this country. Uh, at this point, it is necessary to highlight issues related to the uh, terrorism which has involved over the last decade uh, along with technological progress adapting to the uh, prevailing geopolit geopolitical uh, conditions. Polish legislation uh, in Article 115, Paragraph 20 of the Penal Code defines terrorist offenses as offenses uh, punishable by imprisonment of uh, at least five years and committed with the purpose, the serious intimidation of many people, forcing a public authority of the Republic, Republic of Poland or uh, of another state or an authority of an international organization to take or to refrain from taking certain actions causing uh, serious disturbance to the system or economy of the Republic of Poland, another state or an international organization, as well as the threat of such an act. It's worth uh, mentioning that due to increasing terrorist threats, the act of 10th uh, on June 2016 on anti-terrorist activities came into force uh, on uh, 2nd July 2016. In the field of uh, counter-terrorism, imported very important international legal acts normalizing these issues uh, include, for example, European Convention of the Suppression of Terrorism drawn up of 27 uh, of January 1977 in Strasbourg, International Convention uh, for the Suppression of the Financing of Terrorism of the 9th, uh, December 1999, International Convention Against the Taking of Hostages, Convention of the Physical Protection of Nuclear Material, Convention on Laundering, uh, Search, Seizure and Confiscation of the Procedures from Crime and uh, on the financing, financing of Terrorism, uh, Council of European Convention on the Prevention of Terrorism in 16 May 2005, uh, International Convention for uh, Suppression of Terrorism Bombing, and for example, Council um, Decision uh, number uh, 890 uh, of 4 June 2080 on the conclusion on behalf of the European Union of the additional protocol to the Council of uh, Europe Convention on the Prevention of uh, Terrorism and, of course, a lot of additional acts. On this slide, uh, you can see the number of terrorist attacks, including the critical infrastructure, uh, over the years 2006-2019. Uh, the largest number of attacks uh, occurred in 2006 and 2007, although a significant number of uh, such criminal activities also took place in 2014-2015. It should be noted that the most active terrorist groups uh, that carried out uh, an attacks uh, in the world in 2019-2020 were uh, Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, the first place, the second place Taliban, the third place Al-Shabaab, uh, fourth place, Communist Party on Maoist and uh, Boko Haram. 
Now I would like to tell some information about uh, national security, European national security and Polish national security. National uh, security uh, strategy are a very important issue from the point of view of the European Union member state, uh, according to the critical infrastructure, of course. In Poland, the um, beginnings of the uh, strategy date back on the 1990s. The first strategy of this type uh, was the defense doctrine of February 1990s, the last document of this type issue taking into account both defense issue, critical infrastructure issue and international cooperation in the field of defense was the national security strategy of the Republic of Poland of 2020, which replies the national security strategy of uh, 2014. On 21st uh, of July 2020, the European Union uh, Security Strategy 2020-2025 was published. The key pillars in terms of European Union Security Strategy, which covers the period 2020-2025, include very important uh, elements. For example, the fight against uh, uh, terrorism and organized crime, including uh, organized uh, crime and terrorism and radicalization, uh, a security environment that will uh, stand the test of time and in particular issues relating to the critical infrastructure, cyber security and protecting public uh, spaces building a strong safety ecosystem, including uh, improving research and innovation, and acting in the face of changing threats, such as hybrid threats, illegal content on the internet, and cybercrime. An important uh, element in the framework of a European security strategy is the resilience of critical infrastructure and the creation on the legal framework capable of straightening uh, it both physically and digitally. digitally. This is why public-private cooperation uh, between those uh, responsibility for the proper maintenance uh, of security seems uh, so crucial in this regard. In uh, addition, to this element, the European Union attached particular importance to issues relating to the European security system. As part of uh, its security policy, the European Union also promotes cooperation and the exchange of information uh, to fight crime and uh, straighten justice. Particularly, uh, very important documents which have been published recently as part of the so-called critical infrastructure protection regulatory package and which represent the latest development of the issue described our regulation of the European Parliament and of the Council of 14 December 2020 on digital operational resilience for the financial sector. Directive of measures for a high common level of cybersecurity across the Union means uh, NIS 2 of 14 December 2022. And for example, very important uh, documents uh, means the directive of the European Parliament and of the Council of 14 December 2022 on the resilience of uh, critical entities. Uh, and replacing Council Directive number 114 with uh, 2008. Among the specific directives, two of them play a particular important uh, role concerned with critical uh, infrastructure, means uh, as, uh, CIR and NIS S2. The Critical Entities Resilience Directive of 14 December 2022, replacing Council Directive number 140 with uh, 2008, states uh, in the first point that critical entities as providers of essential uh, services play an in this 
principal role in the maintain maintenance of vital uh, social functions or economic activities in the internal uh, market in an increasing uh, independent union economy. Uh, it is therefore essential to set out uh, a union framework with the aim of both enhancing the resilience of critical entities uh, in the internal market by laying down harmonized minimum rules and uh, assisting them by means of coherent uh, and uh, dedicated support and uh, supervision measures. A further piece of uh, legislation, the Directive of Measure for a High Common Level of Cybersecurity uh, within the Union, NIS2, calls in this sixth point for the uh, extension of the scope of the rules by uh, sector to the wider economy to ensure that uh, sector and service which are essential for key social and economic activities uh, in the internal market are comprehensively covered. In particular, this directive uh, seeks to address the shortcomings of the distinguish between key service operators and digital service providers, which has uh, proved outdated as it does not reflect the importance uh, of the sectors or services concerned for social and uh, economic activities uh, in the internal market. In addition, the directive sets a benchmark for cyber uh, security risk management measures and for uh, indicate a reporting obligation in the sectors that fall within its scopes. Conclusions, very important. In terms of uh, critical infrastructure protection, an important issue is the question of ensuring security, which consists uh, uh, of the following activities, namely ensuring physical security, ensuring uh, technical security, personal security, legal security, and business continuity and recovery plans, understood as a set of organizational and technical activities leading to the maintenance and recovery uh, of functions performed by critical infrastructure. And, important element in the protection of critical infrastructure is appropriate cooperation at several key levels such as strategic, operational and management level. In addition, international cooperation and uh, exchange of information is an important aspect of uh, the implementation of critical uh, infrastructure protection and uh, continually. Early decision, the early sorry detection, uh, as well as resilience building, uh, and the issue of increasing citizens' uh, awareness of critical uh, infrastructure protection is, my opinion, is crucial. Thank you.